work quite physically. Um, and that means we try to, uh, through a set of rules and methods and techniques, movement techniques, allow the body to go through um, expressing all the possible elements that could be present in a romantic relationship. Uh, and through that try to capture and maintain the complexity of relationship. It's about body, about my feelings, about my present on the stage, about what I want to say with, um, with, uh, not with words, but without, uh, just with, just with um, gestures and movements. That there is a struggle, that there is a loss of identity um, in the togetherness, there is a dependency, codependency, there are all these fears, uh, maybe there is also this anger and aggression that sometimes comes in, of course, but together with the tenderness, intimacy, uh, care, support. We know each other for quite a while now, it felt like physically that's gonna work. I also like how we both have a sort of an androgynous physicality and body already by itself. Everyone communicates with body. I can, sometimes I feel that I can teach what they think just through body. I've been to Hungary several times, but it's my first time in Seged and this far in the south, so I'm very excited to be here, it's very nice. Sometimes it's it's harder uh, for for a spectator, for, for audience, uh, to see someone naked than for somebody who is on the stage. I have a lot of shows where I don't wear clothes, but not the whole time. So I'm naked a lot on stage. But uh, for this show, it was just uh, it was a decision, you know. There is uh, there is no costume that could handle the the show of all shows. After five minutes, almost everybody forgets that we are naked, and uh, then it's not an issue anymore. I remember what you have prepared for in five minutes and I steal your little brainwave that should have come much, much later. Sometimes it, it is very helpful that we know each other. We really have to like think really wide and uh, always uh, to, to think through a bigger picture and so that's why we we usually um, film film ourselves our um, our searching for the material and then we are like together watching it i have stage i have lights i have audience and what is most important i have text for me the performance is a, is about a lot of things so it's uh, it's definitely not just about theater. We have to tell a story which will work and for us, for, for, for people, that this whole event uh, makes uh, sense. Mm -hmm. You know, that this is, that it's not exclusive, that it's inclusive. That's why, you no, know, because this is uh, like, uh, this was one of the, the biggest, uh, let's say, breakthroughs in, in, the, in, in, in our process, that it's like everyone matters to us. Yeah. The lady in the first row looks at me with surprise. I use her to say a little bit of text as if it was meant for her. The whole 
project uh, started uh, with this initiative uh, from the venue that I work for, this association, and also from uh, Pono Doriani. Uh, we contacted her uh, in order to make an uh, inter-ethnic performance, and she came um, with the idea of having a musical experimental performance about uh, the coexistence of uh, Romanians and Hungarians. Kitaláltuk, hogy milyen érdekes volna megnézni, hogy mi az igazi különbség a románok és a magyarok között, és akkor végeztünk egy ilyen DNS-tesztet, aminek az eredménye az volt, hogy nem nagyon látszik a különbség, és hogy ez így nem fogható meg. The, the most striking thing uh, it was during our whole process uh, for working for this performance, when they had to speak mostly in Romanian, not using their mother tongue. So we felt, uh, us the Rom Romanian speakers, we felt really privileged that we are having this uh, cozy space while, uh, where we can uh, use our, our mother tongue while they, for them, was, was uh, more, more difficult. <laughs> Azt hiszem, hogy felvállaltuk azt, hogy minden nézőnek nagyon más az előadás. Mindenkinek nagyon-nagyon személyes élménye van, és nem akartuk uniformizálni ezt az élményt, hanem valahogy felvállaltuk, hogy, hogy mi a mi hangunk is polifón, és hogy, hogy valahogy ez a polifóniát a néző felé átfordítani. The performance is based on a true event that happened on uh, February in 2016 and when they happened uh, they kind of struck me because it, the story is about six uh, young migrants who are, as, who are seeking for refugee and the government tried to put them in a school dorm but the parents of other uh, students who were uh, staying at the dorm protested it. We had the opportunity that eight people could work for eight months mm -hmm. and really try to detect um, the problems in our society and try to make art around that. All the facts are true but we kind of uh, developed our own story because we kind of created uh, five characters, five employees of the students dorm and we through them we try to reflect how this hate from all around um, influences people's decisions. <laughs> Why is so wrong if some uh, refugees come to our country, okay? And the other part, I play mom, I play parents, mm -hmm. I am a parent, I am a mom, I have three children, and I can understand also parents why they were so against that these refugees come to this student dorm. Life is not black and white, this is what I want to say, it's grey and it's it's so easy just to point at somebody, you know, he's bad, he's good, he's refugees, he's against this, he's racist. It's not so simple. And again, when something happened to your children, I'm 100% that each parent would be like a lion. During the process of creation, you get very angry because uh, the situation with uh, immigrants and uh, with this, um, with this wave of people trying to uh, going to for a better life, or not even for a better life, but just for survival, mm -hmm. it's it's really there. And um, actually, then of course, when you find when you um, take this as a content, then as an artist, you have to find some sort of uh, distance mm -hmm. that you can sleep at night.